Hi guys, Don here, CCB's e-commerce specialist and host of our Two for Tech series. That's Two Minutes for Technology. Today, I'm joined by Logan McCoy, CCB's Vice President of Services. We're going to talk about the benefits of getting an assessment of your IT infrastructure. So Logan, what exactly is an IT infrastructure assessment and how is that different from other IT assessments? Sure, it's a great question, Don, because really an IT infrastructure assessment is an opportunity for you to get an in-depth analysis of what's happening in your current IT environment. So this can be done on-site or remotely, this can be done looking at your physical or virtual appliances, but really where I would say we differ from a lot of others is oftentimes other organizations only focus on a specific segment, whereas we really try to take a holistic or comprehensive approach. Okay, great. So what sorts of businesses need an IT infrastructure assessment? Why is it so important? Well, I don't want to say that it would be narrowed down just to one type of organization. And that's because really, if you have a server, a firewall, a router, a switch, so on and so forth, there could be a good opportunity for you to have an assessment done. And the, really the reason for that is because oftentimes you're not always aware of those gaps or threats that exist within your organization. You might not be aware of certain ways that you can improve efficiencies and productivity based on implementing new technology or just shoring up what you already have. So by us coming in and actually looking and saying, hey, we see these gaps and vulnerabilities, we're, we're going to want to patch those, or we see these ways where we can improve the efficiencies of what's happening and then actually provide a roadmap for how to get there, we really kind of come alongside as a partner to deliver something that doesn't just help you improve what's going on, but actually make you more effective as a business. Sure. Well, that sounds really important. As important that is, so how does a customer go about choosing a partner to, to perform these services? What, what sorts of things should they be looking for? The first thing definitely, Don, is trust. Mm -hmm. If you can't have a partnership built on trust, especially where someone's going to be coming into your environment and actually looking at your hardware, your infrastructure, the software, sensitive data, um, I'd be very leery of that. But two other key components, Don, I would say are do they have a good reputation? Can they give you references? And then as well, do they have the expertise, right? Do they have the certifications and the credentials to actually show that they have confidence in performing services. Thanks Logan and thank you for tuning into our two minutes for technology. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get our latest tech videos and also sign up for our tech blog where you can get insights into the latest business IT tips, strategies, and trends.